Hi everyone, it's Carissa at Small and Scrappy and I just wanted to do a quick unboxing of a recent Pear Tree Cut Files order that I made. Um, Marie had a little discount on over the Easter weekend, I believe it was. Um, so I picked up a few bits and I just thought I'd talk you through them. Um, I will mark it as an ad because I'm on the challenge team, um, but I have bought all this with my own money, so, you know. So start with this little green bag green and white bag i have taken everything out the box but um as you can see it all comes nicely packaged and i've promptly <laughs> torn a hole in one of the bags but still worth keeping so i ordered two uh, well, one of each of the Star Fetty mixes, which I believe were from last month's release, so March. Um, and I got the warm mix and the cool mix. So together they form a whole rainbow. And they're so cute. Absolutely itty bitty little stars there um, in various colours and glitter as well. I also got um, some other pieces mixes. So this one I believe is Rose Tinted Spectacles, which has been on my um, wait list for a little, on my wish list even for a little while. Um, and it's got some lovely peachy, sort of color, peachy rose gold and um, some neutral colors in there. So lovely. And this one, this one I can't quite remember the name off the top of my head, um, but as you can see, it's a lovely grey and greys and whites star mix. And then I threw in these. And what I had in mind was the, um, a, I did a sample for the challenge this month using the raindrops cut file. And I was kicking myself because I hadn't ordered these in time to put on that layout. So I might go back and do that, but they're also just um, a lovely design, nice little um, water droplets in um, a couple of blues and a sort of tealy colour. Next we have, I think this one was called Elliot's Galaxy. It's another one I've had on, uh, had my eye on for a little while. Um, I just love the deep blues and purples in that one. Now this little bag of the acrylic bits, um, is, I believe is a freebie. Marie often um, throws in a little freebie with the physical orders, so that's lovely. It says breezy, um, and there's a couple of hearts and a flower, and I think that's one of the Easter eggs there, the oval, so that's really nice. I've got a layout I can use those on. Um, and then I ordered a few stencils. I've ordered one of Marie's stencils before, it was the paw prints one, I've used it quite a few times. Um, and it's um, obviously a fairly, fairly obvious design to use if you're doing anything to do with pets. Um, but I have added a few more to my collection. Oh. Try and save as much of this um, gorgeous green tissue paper as possible. So I got the Cloud Borders stencil. Um, says, I've seen quite a few people over the last, um, I suppose, year or so, um, possibly even longer, um, doing the uh, ink blended cloud backgrounds with this sort of shape. Um, and Marie created a stencil for it a little while ago um, uh, after having a cut file for it. Um, so that's another one that's been on my list. I quite like to try out that background. Um, I loved how it's looked on everyone else's pages. So I'm excited to give that a go.
Next, I got another um, multi-piece stencil, actually. This is the Boca, Bo Bucky, nobody seems quite sure how to say it, um, Circles template. So those two template uh, stencils. So there's two stencils, they lie on top of each other, and the idea is you can create um, layered mixed media backgrounds um, with that sort of effect that has become quite popular as well. Or you could always use them individually, there's no reason why not. So another one I'm looking forward to using. And then last but not least, I got the World Map stencil. Um, and I got all my stencils in 8x8 because I scrap in A4 and 12x12, 12 12, it's sort of a good middle ground. I find the 6x6s can be a bit too, depending on what I'm doing of course, can be a bit too small for a 12x12, 12 12, but the 12x12s 12 are obviously too big for 8x8, um, for A4 uh, layouts most of the time. So yes, the world map in 8x8, eight eight, that'll be a lovely one for any holiday layouts. I'll get um, a lot of uses out of that, I think. Um, especially now we can start going places again. So this, this is everything I got in my little Pear Tree Cut Files haul. Um, I hope you enjoyed seeing what I got. I will pop the link to the website in the description box so you can have a little look um, and pick up any of the goodies you've liked um, where they are still in stock. I think I know some of these were reduced so they might not be available anymore but um, certainly some of them will be and I'm filming this on the 26th of April so the new release I think will be coming up any day now so keep your eyes peeled for that um and sign up to the pear tree newsletter if you like what you see and um yes thank you for watching everyone bye